Welcome to Color Reso Printing. In this demo, you will learn to print from a computer to the Resograph using four colors. In this window, I have the file prepared to print. Each color has been made into its own layer. Rename these layers so you can keep track of the print order. Here's what each layer looks like after processing, red, yellow, red, and blue. Going back to the original file, we can see how these images were laid. Now back to our print ready file. Hide all of the layers that you don't want to print. In this case, we only want blue showing. That will be the first color that we print. Go up to file, find your way down to print, and click. Look for the correct printer. If you are printing from the Riso Studio in room 407, it's called Riso 2 color. But there appears to be a problem. We can see the image of the dog is cropped too close. Let's hit cancel and go back one step. We need to check our original image size. Go under image to image size. In the pop-up window, we can see the resolution is set to 72. Let's raise that number to 300. Now we need to change the image size. Since the maximum paper is 11 inches, I'll make the image 10 inches wide. Notice the original image size and the current size can easily be compared. Our change has only dropped the file by less than one megabyte, which is fine. Since that problem is corrected, time to print. File, print. We can see the dog is now displayed in full and centered on the 11 by 17 paper. If you happen to forget what color you are printing, look over to your layers window. Click Print Settings and another window will appear. Click the Layout menu and select Print Color Entry. This will display which two colors the machine is currently set to print with. Since we are printing medium blue and bright red, we need to change these settings first. Click a color in the right list and delete it. From the left list, choose the color you want. We want medium blue. Do this for both colors you want to print with. Bright red is the other color we'll be printing with. Next, go back to the drop-down menu and select Coloring. This new window has more info that we need to change before printing. Some options you have here under Original, you can select Photo or Line. Since this is a tonal photo based image, I'll select Photo. If you are printing text or flat graphic style art, you may want to choose line. Another option you can change is the halftone mode. Screen covered has a more uniform pattern to the dots, while grain touch has a randomized pattern that is softer in the final print. Experiment with these settings to see what works best for your print. Last, we need to choose monocolor print, which can be confusing. Basically, what you are doing is telling the printer to make a master image for only the first cylinder. We can see that only color one, which is blue, is selected. We will send the red layer to print in just a moment, but right now we are focused on this single blue layer. Wait, I've changed my mind. I want to use grain touch for this print, so I'm changing it before I click save. We only need to print one copy. Click print and the file will be sent to the Resograph. After the file is received, it will display one ready to make master on the Riso touch screen. Press the start key, which is now lit up with a blue light. After a few moments, the Riso will send out the first proof. This proof is always lighter than the other prints. Now it is time to send the red layer to print. In Photoshop, be sure the red layer is the only layer visible. File, print. All of the settings should be the same. Open Print Settings and click on the Layout tab. Go down the list to Coloring. We have a few changes to make. Click Dual Color Print and some new options appear. Under the Master Making field, change the tab to Color to Only and click Save. On the main print window settings, click Print. Again, only one copy needs to be printed. After a few minutes, the file will be received by the Resograph. It may take some time. Be patient. The touch screen will now display ready to make master for drum 2. Push the start key. After some more processing, 
the RISA will print another proof copy using both colors. After proofing, registration can be adjusted. Multi-layered color prints will always need to have this done. Here are the button controls on changing the location of the master material on the drum. If you forgot which color is associated with drum 1 or 2, you can check the touch screen. Blue is 1, red is 2. I'm going to move the red layer up one click and to the right two clicks and lower the print density just a little. Pressing start again to print, you will hear the drums changing locations inside the printer. After registration looks more accurate, print a minimum of 15 to 20 prints. It's now time to change the color drums. Open the front of the printer. Push the blue button. Unlock the drums. Use the blue handle to pull out each drum. Replace the blue and red cylinders or drums with the yellow and the black drums. Safely slide in the new cylinders back into the Riso printer. Close the front. Head back to Photoshop. Once in Photoshop, make the black layer the only visible layer. Go to File, Open Print, Open Print Setting. Click the Layout menu and select Print Color Entry. This will display which two colors the machine was just set to print with, medium blue and bright red. Click medium blue and delete it. From the color list, choose black. Next, delete the other unwanted color, add yellow. After this, go back to the menu and select coloring again. You can see all the settings are still set for photo and grain touch. For the first drum, choose monocolor print. Double checking my layers palette, I can see black is the layer I want to print. Click save. Click print and the file will be sent to the Resograph. Back at the Resograph touchscreen, we can see it's ready to make master one. Press the start key again. After a few moments, the Risa will send out the first proof. Now it is time to send the final layer to print. Back in Photoshop, be sure yellow is the only layer visible. File, print. All of the settings should remain the same. Open print settings and click on the layout tab. Go down the list to coloring. Select dual color print and master making color two only. Click save and click print. Remember it may take a few minutes but we are now ready to make master two. Press the start key. The Resograph will print another proof copy using both colors, black and yellow. Next, registration can be adjusted. Here we can see the yellow is off. So, color two, drum two, I will move up two button clicks to help with the registration. Pressing start will print another proof copy and we can see the registration is indeed better. Now it is time to print a four layer proof with all four colors interacting. In a curated stack, nice and tight, place your red and blue prints into the paper feed. Press 1 and then start to make your first four color copy. It looks great, but you're not finished yet. I can see that the black and yellow layers are off by the same amount, so the correction will be very easy. Both drums need to be moved to the right by two clicks. I'll print another proof copy and see if that helped. things are looking a lot better. Remember, Resograph registration will never be perfect. As I look at the details in this image, I'm quite pleased with the results. Now, it's time for me to print the entire edition.